What's going on, everybody? Sorry for the delay. Had to update my YouTube the last second just so I can go live. But here we are. And it seems like no one is in the room. So, yeah, that's always fun. It's always fun to start these live feeds without anybody in the room. But just for future sake, I'm just going to get the ball rolling and start talking about the fragrance that I chose to talk about tonight. And then we'll talk about other stuff when it comes up, when you guys decide to start to come in. So the fragrance that I wanted to talk about tonight was Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud. Seems like I got somebody in the chat or inside. Let me make all chats visible. I don't know who's in, but thank you for coming in. I can't see anybody, anybody's text right now. But thank you for being in here. Um, so today we're going to be covering Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud. Hey, what's going on? All right, somebody commented. Thank God. What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Yes. Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud. First of all, let's just talk. How, how are you guys' weekend starting off? How's everything going? It's been a crazy week, right? <laughs> Glad you guys can be here. It's been a crazy work week for me. Doing good, brother. How about yourself? Yeah, it's been a hectic, hectic work week. And I uh, I decided not to go out tonight. I just wanted to stay in and sort of relax. That's why I chose to go live today. And I just wanted to cover a fragrance that I've had for a while that I just really haven't covered yet, which is a Joe Malone fragrance. I was thinking about going to see a movie, but there's no real good movies that are out there. I'm not seeing that freaking solo movie. No, definitely not. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm just going to touch a little bit on... Uh, Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud, and as more people come in, we can talk and, you know, get the regular live stream stuff going. But Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud. Joe Malone's Velvet Rose and Oud is a rose and white musk. No, I haven't. By Joe Malone? No, I haven't. Is that, a, is that one of the clear bottled ones? This one is one of the Cologne Intense ones, the uh, black bottled ones. I bought this the same time that I bought my Murantanka. And if you guys follow me, you guys know how much I love Murantanka. I bought this the same day. And what this fragrance has, <laughs> what's going on, Rick? What this fragrance has is Damask Rose. It has Agar Wood, which is Oud. Neiman Marcus Exclusive. Haven't come out yet. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? It's Fragrance Friday, right? <laughs> Gonna be looking forward to your video. Yes, Velvet Rose and Oud has a Garwood, Damask Rose, Praline, and Clove. Um, this is one, how you doing, Val? This is one that I bought, it came out in 2012. It's part of the Cologne Intense line. I moved, so no video this week. Oh, you did wind up moving. That's awesome. Hey, what's going on, Raph? How you doing? Um, yeah, so this fragrance is... I love this fragrance when I got it. I love this fragrance when I got it. It's just this nice, dark, damask rose. Like a really, really dark, damask, dark red rose. Like you could actually smell the dark red rose in this. And it's it's a really, really nice rose. The oud in this is sort of a westernized oud. Um, not too heavy, not too skanky. It's really nice. But it's sort of covered by the praline that is in this. See, I was probably here. What's going on, Carlos? Yes, this one has this sweetness. When I first smelled it, I really liked it. And I still like wearing it from time to time, but I don't know if you can see. I really haven't put, you can't really see, but I haven't put that much of a dent in this. And that's because this fragrance opens up really nice. It has, it wears for, I get about an hour of moderate 
projection before it quickly settles down. This is a close encounter fragrance. But the freaking problem with it is on my skin, it winds up becoming a little too feminine leaning. And I contribute that to the praline that's in this. It gives it sort of a too sweet of a scent. And in that, it, it, it sort of winds up becoming too sweet. That's the heartbreak with Joe Malone. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know what? It's, uh, like I said, with Murantanka, Murantanka lasts a long time on my skin. This one, it doesn't go away, but it sits really close after about an hour. It's a close encounter one, this one. But the praline is just a little too sweet on this. I kept this because uh, when I have, when women come over, um, I love the way that this smells on them. They actually are the ones that put the dent in this fragrance. And I'm trying to get a good, you can't really see. It's about down to here right now. Um, they're the ones that have worn this. And they really like it. I really like the way that it smells on them. At one point, I did like the way that it smelled on me too. But it started to become a little too sweet. Um, you can't really smell the clothes in this, believe it or not. Um, it's, it's more of the rose... I'm going to tell you what, it should have been called Rose and Praline. The Oud is definitely in there, but it's, it's sweetened up a lot by that Praline. And it sort of masks that Oud. The Oud is more of a, a secondary note. And this is more of Rose and Praline with a little bit of Oud. Um, it, I do like wearing it sometimes. Um, as you guys know, I, I have no problem wearing uh, a fragrance that would be classically considered feminine. Um, but this one's just a little, it goes a little too feminine on me. Some, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it manages to keep that dark depth of that rose. Cloven rose or bust. <laughs> hey, how did you like, uh, how did you like that, uh, that smolder rose that I, uh, that I wound up sending you? Um, but yeah, like smolder rose, smolder rose. If you would have told me, um, about... Three years ago, that rose would be one of my favorite notes. I would have thought you were fucking crazy. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, and I got to do a couple videos on the ones that you sent me. I, I've been waiting to try to figure out. I was going to try to do a sampling month, but I don't think that's just going to work out. I'm just going to probably wind up touching on that house. You're far too much man for that stuff, Chris. Thanks, Rick. Yeah, it, 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 and that's the thing. Like, it... When I first smelled it, I, I bought it and I bought the freaking big bottle. As you can tell, this is the, the big Joe Malone. And it just wind up, it wound up being a little too sweet for me in the end. But today I won out, I won out and I, I bought a lot of, uh, yo, what's going on, Muhammad? I wind up buying a, uh, a lot of new releases today. So I got a couple new releases over there that I'm going to be wind up doing. To me, the deal breaker is the rose. Carlos, I'm telling you, there's there's so many rose. Like I, like I said, you would have told me three years ago I would have been in a rose. I would have thought you were fucking nuts. But, sorry for cursing. Um, but now, like, um, like that, that January 7th project, Smolder Rose, it's a dark, that's, that's, that's almost, that's, it's considered... It's considered unisex, but it's smoky. It's uh, to me, it leans a little, a little more masculine than anything. It's considered unisex, but it's smoky. It's dark. Yo, do a review on tuxedo. I hate being the only one hyping it. <laughs> Actually, to tell you the truth, I have no problem admitting when I haven't tried a fragrance. I haven't tried tuxedo yet. I haven't tried tuxedo yet. It's one that I definitely want to. It's just. Um, it's always been on there and then something came out that always put it on top and I know I should try it, but I just haven't. I, 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 have, I, I have no problem being honest with you guys. It's just one that I haven't and I would like to. I would definitely love to try it out. I haven't even tried any of the uh, inspired expressions. Ooh, I said the dirty word. Um, I haven't tried any of the expired expressions yet either, but um, definitely want to give Tuxedo a try. But I purchased a couple of new things. I'll definitely hit you up. Tuxedo is good. I don't own it, but I smelled it. 
Um, a couple new things today. One of them is actually, I really, it's a, a brand new release from this year, and it's good. <laughs> it's 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 good. I didn't expect it to be as good as that. <laughs> I'll, I'll leave it at that. That that a review on that will be coming or a, it'll sort of be a first impression. Will be coming out on Sunday for that one. And I got a couple of other uh, new releases. I got a couple of uh, new decants that I'm going to be doing this week too of brand new releases. I got a decant of the new uh, Elevator Music by Bye Rado. I got a decant of I'll, I'll save I'll save it. But um, yeah, I got some good stuff coming up. I, I got. Uh, I got some cool things in the works this week that should be coming out that you'll probably see around on my channel and on others. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of cool things in the work for this week coming up as well. I, I did a couple orders. Oh, and I took advantage. I know I just did that Argos video. And just so you guys don't think that I'm a freaking bullshit liar, I wound up buying the Argos, I wound up buying the Argos Forum today. I took advantage of that discount that they have. That 30% out discount is great. I wound up paying $112 or something like that for the 100 mil bottle of that fragrance and it's a versatile scent. I know a couple people said that they didn't like it. I think actually Mohammed said he didn't like it, but personally I think, I think it's a very wearable, versatile, signature scent worthy scent. Um, and I'll definitely hit you up, Mohammed. Um, yeah, dude, Muhammad, you're doing you're doing really good things too, man. And you can tell that you're uh, you're putting passion in your channel. You're putting uh, passion and a lot of uh, work and effort. And you can tell that the quality, like you're 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 doing the same moves that I'm doing, man. And just keep doing it. You, you're, the things that are you're doing, you're moving up in steps, and you're doing really good. Argosporum is good stuff. Yes, it is. And Rick, you got to fucking come back too. Don't think I wasn't gonna call you out, but you gotta come out. You gotta come back too. I know you take your time, and do take your time, man. I want you to be happy, but come back. Um, yeah, and th there was um, there's a lot of uh, cool people that are out there that are putting out good content. I don't know if you guys are into gym stuff at all, but um, if you saw if you saw if you know Yashua from that fragrance, Yashua from that fragrance just put out an awesome awesome gym scent slash workout training video what was that you said carlos yeah i just subscribed to mr top 10 yeah he's doing yeah good mom is doing his thing man he's doing a good job man keep doing like you know what just keep up that quality keep up that commitment and that passion dude and it, it, it comes with time man um i had no idea how mine managed to i'm not saying that i grew quickly um, but I was, I, you know, it's, it's been a fun ride and like meeting you guys doing these live, I love doing these live feeds cause it's just like me talking to a group of friends and I don't care if it doesn't get that many views or likes or anything like that. I still leave them on my channel. I really don't care. People catch them afterwards and it's really cool. Thank you. Thank you, Tina. I really appreciate that. Tina, and if you guys don't know Tina's channel, Tina also has a great channel. I say this every time she's on, but it's because it's true. She has an awesome channel too. And uh, she went on this crazy, crazy, like daily, daily uh, reviewing stint for a little bit. And she did some awesome work, man. And she's she, does, she has a really cool channel too. But doing like, it's never this, this channel. Yo, holy crap, Timmy. Yo, what's up, man? And you know what, like, uh, dude, I just, I just watched your Jubilation 25 video, by the way, and you and I have very similar taste on that scent as much. Yo, Chris, what's going on, man? Yo, if you guys haven't checked Chris's channel out too, Chris actually, he has, he has a great channel. He's putting out some awesome, awesome stuff on designers and stuff like that. He's, he's putting out videos almost daily, man. It's, it's insane. I, I can't, I can't put out that much content that quickly. But Timmy, you and I had a very similar view of Jubilation 25. Artistically, very, very good scent. I personally can't wear it that much. Honest, I, I, I appreciate it for what it is. 
it is not one that I could wear often or find occasions that I could personally wear that scent. And it has nothing to do with like that fragrance is a bad scent. I honestly think it's a great scent. I just, and I was going to comment, but I had to get all this stuff ready. I'll definitely go back and comment that to me. <laughs> but, um, I just can't find, I don't find myself reaching. I actually, I got rid of mine. I saved myself a little decant, but because I wasn't wearing it, I, I, I wound up getting rid of it. And, and I'm, I'm a collector. So that, I mean, collector as much, whatever, whatever that means. Um, I got rid of it just because I, I, I didn't see myself the little decant that I have that'll probably last me the rest of my life it's it's artistically a beautiful scent I just can't wear it that much it's not like I know Timmy will agree with this it's not like reflection man because reflection man is definitely wearable um I had a decant of that I, I I once again I have no problem admitting what I don't have I don't have reflection man I want to get it I had a decant of it and I'm done with it I just want to find it for the right price. And I don't care if it's a magnetic cap or not a magnetic cap. That crap really doesn't bother me. If I have to reapply, I'll reapply. But Reflection Man is a million times more wearable and a million times more enjoy. It's, it is classy. You're right. It is classy. I'm not, though. <laughs> and I can't. I'm not. And I I, 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 don't see, I, I don't see myself wearing it that much. I, I see myself, I can wear Beach Hot Man way more than I can wear Jubilation. It's just Jubilation, I don't like, I if I were to wear it, I'd be dressed up, out, summer nice, and you know what, the composition, you would think that it's definitely a only fall and winter scent, but I could definitely see that being worn in the spring too, it's not... Like, it's a, a good projector, but it's not dense, if that makes sense. Um, but I, 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 I wear Beach Hot Man way more. I, I love Beach Hot Man, and it's it's going to be making an appearance soon, hint, hint. But it's, I, I, I put a heavy, heavy, hold on, let me grab it real quick. I'll show you. I put, I've had this for only about a month, month and a half. <laughs> No, it's been about it's been about two months. It's been about two months, but look at that. That's how much I put into Beach Hut, man. <laughs> I'm gonna wind up having to get another bottle by the end of the year. It's I love the mint in this, and I told people in my Burberry Indigo video. Not that many people believe me, but Ashton vouched for it. Fucking Burberry Indigo has the same exact mint. And the same opening that is in this with an Aqua de Gio Profumo dry down. That's what Burberry, that's what Burberry Indigo is. So if you're looking for this with a cheaper price and then with an Aqua de Gio dry down, that's a Burberry Indigo smells like this in the opening. Um, it may not be the exact, but the mint in there is definitely a similar mint overall. But um, yeah, there's just... A lot of cool things that are going to be going on this week. Um, I might actually have to put out an extra video or two just because I have a lot of things in the works. I have a lot of things coming up. I have a lot of new release stuff coming up. I get lots of Ivy. Yes, yes, definitely. You know what? And I said this description in... Oh, crap. What's up, Joy? How you doing, brother? Um, I said this description. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I said this description about Beach Up Man in my, because I haven't done a full review on this. I said my description about this in my spring top niche video. Um, this reminds me of sitting on the beach. It doesn't smell beachy, but this, let's say you were sipping a mojito on the beach and you were down to only the muddled mint that's in that mojito. And you were sipping the glass with the ice in it and the muddled mint. You get a lot of the muddled mint. And then on the beach is a beach hut, cedar planked and old and sun beaten. And the sun is beating down on that old beach hut. All that aroma, the beach hut, the mint, 
the planks, the moss on the beach hut is what beach hut man smells like. This is such a great, great scent, great scent. And I, I'm, I'm so happy that I have this. I, I, I'm probably going to actually need another one. This is two months. <laughs> this is two months and I put a big dent in it, but yeah, I have a lot, I have a lot of cool things coming up. Um, I got a cool, I got a cool gift from a friend and I'll make a video about that. And I'll mention the friend in that video. Cause you guys all know who he is, but I got a cool gift from a friend and it's one that I've been requesting of him for a while. You guys all know who this person is, but I'm not sure you guys all know that he was a big contributor in a fragrance. So I have that fragrance. I'm gonna buy this. Hold on. Buy this beach up, man. Don't be sorry you're late, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not like that. I have such a different take. Tropical vibe scent. Should be not mojito, but rum. That's the thing. I don't think that this is your typical tropical scent. Um, I, I, I agree with you on that, Carlos. But I don't think this is your typical. It's it's a tropical kind of scent, but it's not a tropical scent, if that makes sense, what I'm saying. Yo, what's going on, Robert? How are you doing? I know, right? Does Joy ever sleep? Dude, I've said this before, and I have no problem at saying this to anybody. Joy Admin is the hardest working, hardest reviewing, consistent daily poster that there is reviewing in the fragrance community, period. You have no other person that puts out as much content as he does, as quality content as he does, great list, great fragrances. He is the man when it comes to hard work and dedication in this community, period. I have no problem going on video saying that, period, period. Hardest working, no doubt, no doubt. I don't, you know what, like, he's, like, um, me and him had a great conversation today. Me and him had a great conversation today. And um, he's just, he's he's someone I've looked up to and someone that I respect in this community greatly. And he's a great, great reviewer. And you know what, like, I look up to him and he knows, he knows that. He knows that. And I have, like I said, I have no problem with vampire <laughs> and some resistant. Yes, very much so. I appreciate it, Joy. Thank you. Take a sip of my water. It's the second gallon, by the way. Um, yeah, man. Um, Joy just puts out daily content that is... And it's funny because he'll say, like, he doesn't... It's He's sorry that it's a long video or something like that. I'm like, no, I like the long videos. I like listening to you talk about fragrance because you talk about it with passion, confidence, good descriptions, and... You really don't let anybody taint your opinion of a scent, no matter what. And that's that's how I try to be. I, I won't judge a fragrance until I've smelled that fragrance. You know what I mean? I try not to buy into hype, and I try not to buy into hate of a fragrance. Chris, you enjoy the best hair of the reviewers. <laughs> Thank you. Joy's Facebook page needs more support. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I, I, I like posting on Joy's uh, Facebook page a lot. I actually, I, I just started posting a little bit of my scent of the days on there just because it's it's more of a, a, a positive and just less less uh, other kind of talk kind of channel. And I know that he's great with monitoring that. So that's, you know what I mean? That's, it's a, it's a great, uh, what you call it? Group to join. I rather travel to the states because I want to share Corona extra with you guys. Yes, yes, we talked about that. We definitely talked about that. And you know, um, so another thing is Joy's hair and beard. Chick Dugan's, <laughs> dude. I wish I can grow a beard like you guys. I'm I'm half Asian, and I guess I I took in that gene. Asian people grow very thin facial hair. I, I could probably grow a Fu Manchu if I wanted to, but I just don't have the patience. <laughs> um, but um, another thing that, of course, I'm sure people wonder what 
my opinion about or this this and this you know there's a lot of things going on in the community right now and you see that i haven't really commented on it and there's a very good reason because personally i don't take that much interest in what other people are doing wrong it, it doesn't i don't look for what other people are doing wrong Let, let's 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 straighten that up uh wrong is a very subjective word there's not that many people doing wrong to me. I mean, people have their own things, people have their own stuff, but I don't, I, I haven't really, I haven't really taken much stock in what other people do. I enjoy people's content. I take them for whatever they are. And that's it. A lot of people have, there's a lot of, uh, you guys know that I'm not really about negativity at all. Really not, because I, I don't have the time for that. Some honey Tennessee Jack Daniels. <laughs> Hell yeah. One million subs. Thank you. Thank you, Joy. Um The negativity in the in the uh in the whole fragrance community and stuff like that it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Um, but I don't I try not to harp on it. It makes me sad because like two years ago and a couple of years before that. When I first joined, it, it, there wasn't like all this stuff. And um, it was just people happy to share their pictures, people happy to, you know. And that's the stuff that I loved about the Fragcom. How's it going, Infinite Nacho? That's the stuff I loved about the Fragcom. And, you know, the fragrance community has been important to me because, as cheesy as it sounds, I don't care if you guys think it's cheesy or not, it's helped me with a lot of things. I mean, you guys know. Um, a little bit about what's going on, Pep. How you doing? You guys know a little bit about my past with the military and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, even stuff after that stuff before that, I, I, I have no problem admitting that saying, yo, what's going on, Gary? I have no problem admitting saying that I was never the best person in my life. I, I wasn't, I haven't always been a great person. What's up? What's up? And I haven't always been a good person. Um, but the fragrance community has helped me out with a lot of stuff. Fragrances have helped me out with a lot of stuff. <laughs> Give me one with no onions. <laughs> it has, though. It's, it's, it's not a lie. Fragrance has helped me out with a lot of stuff. Um, and the fragrance community has helped me out with a lot of stuff. I made awesome friends. I'm able to talk to you guys right now on a Friday night. And, and, and it's fun. It's fun. And, uh, you know, I try to keep on the fun side of the fragrance community because that's what it is to me. It's all fun. It's all like family right here. Exactly. Exactly. And you got like, you know what? People can talk shit all they want about, oh, there's no such thing as fragrance family, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Fine. If you want to think that, that's cool. Like, I have my opinions. People have theirs. I respect yours. Please respect mine. You know what I mean? That That's what my reviews, my whatever. You know what I mean? People want to talk trash about what people think about a fragrance. Why do you care about what somebody thinks about a fragrance? Awesome friends here. Yes, uh, so have I. Chris, have you been to the Knicks? At, uh, whatchamacallit? At Reading Terminal. So many great people in the trap right now. Yes, there is. Dude, that, that... It, what's crazy is, a year ago, these, like, not only, not only the, not only the... The reviewers, but people, yes, I have. I live about two blocks away from there, Rick. Like, what's crazy is a lot of these people I've looked up to in the community, whether it was Carlos Colum from freaking just posting his funny post, whether it was Pep from making an awesome video, whether it was Tina, whether it was Joy, whether it was Timmy from earlier, and like, you, like, I, I, I freaking looked up to you guys, and I still do. And the fact that, like, it's on the receiving end right now, it's, 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 like, freaking crazy. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, and I'll say this to the people that aren't reviewers. I'll say this to people that are reviewers. I'm not, I'm not someone to look up to. I'm not someone to, I'm, I'm, I'm equal to you guys. The thing is we have people all across the globe. Yes, we do. 
good countries, good friends on Facebook too. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And then, yes, that was very well said, Joy. It's uh, like this community is, there's good, and I said this in a video. With any growing community, there's going to be, for every 10 good people, there's going to be one asshole. It's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. So as we start taking more people in the fragrance community, there's gonna be more people that come in that are assholes. I have met fragrance families, everyone on their own. Doesn't mean that everyone has to love. Exactly, exactly. And people just take things negatively. What's the negativity right now? Do it now. Say no. It's you know what? That's that's perspective. I you know what? Do our Alexandria. Don't mean anything to me. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't tried any dua. I've tried Alexandria, a couple fragrances I have like. I mostly, I mean, personally, I mostly stick to designer, niche, cheapies, and whatnot. But you know what? If if there's something that I could try that I could pass on to a reviewer, like I have no problem doing that. The, the problem with picking, the problem with picking for me, my issue, why I don't get why people would love Dua and hate Alexandria is like picking Chanel or Dior. Like, or picking Versace Pour Homme and Chanel Allure on Sport O Extreme. You know? Let's see. Right, exactly. You know what? <laughs> That's, it's, it's, like, you know, like, there's, there's going to be people that doesn't like one or doesn't like the other. There's going to be someone that likes Dior. There's going to be someone that likes Chanel. There's going to be like someone that you know what I mean? But the, the fact that there's so much hate and animosity over it, the guy Masam, he just had his freaking window busted, man, for this kind of stuff. I don't I don't care what you think about Dua. That shit's not fucking right. That's not right. That's, that's bullshit. And whoever did that is a fucking asshole. I don't care what I don't I don't care what you think. That's, that's, that's not right. <laughs> you know, like over fragrance. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. Put it on the record. Hold on. Sponsored by. <laughs> Dude, you get your, that would be awesome. And we have unity band of brothers proud of each other's backs. Hell yeah, we do. Hell yeah, we do joy. Some Del right? <laughs> Dude, we got some guys with some awesome hair in this video right now. <laughs> Pep, enjoy. You know what's funny is I had someone ask me, and I've had a couple people ask me to do a hair video. As as I'm not I'm not the person to do that. Like that's I, I know how to do my hair, and it takes two minutes, and I, I'm not I I can't do a hair video. I don't know how to do that. I don't have the equipment to do a hair video it's not like i'm not interested or as people ask me about workout videos i, I put workout stuff on my on my instagram but it's not like something i want to do on this channel barbershop and showcase right i'm gonna start a channel in the chat right now you guys get in your info where are you guys getting most of the info from your community facebook yeah there's a lot of stuff going on on facebook right now um Pep Joy, yo, that'd be awesome. James, what's going on, brother? How you doing, man? So another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, I, I noticed I always put more in the titles of these. Um, there's, um, and you know what, like all this stuff, which Facebook groups are like, I like all of them. Um, Joy's has a great one. Pep's has an awesome one. There's, you know, Timmy just opened one up. There's uh, the Jensen's one, there's uh, Cascade Sense, there's Red Lessons, you know, there, there's all kinds of good Facebook groups. You just got to learn how to weed out, you know what I mean, the negativity and the, and the BS, you know, th there's there's going to be negativity in every group. There's going to be, uh, uh, Joy has a good way of keeping it out. Um, Peps have managed to stay pretty clean, um, but... Too much social media. Wear frags, pick up chicks. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Um, so um, with all, you know, what's funny is the negativity doesn't only go through the fragrance Facebook groups either. You see it in uh, Fragrantica. You know what I mean? People will 
post negative shit about a fragrance that hasn't even been released yet. Hasn't even been released yet. And you know what? I've been, let's get 500 comments in one night, right? There's, I've managed to start getting further and further away from using Fragrantica to do my research because there's this awesome, I don't know if you guys know, I'm going to start a Facebook group called No Sins, Big People to Send Me Sub. <laughs> there are, uh, there's this awesome app and there's this awesome site called Profumo. And they actually have an app for the iPhone. They have an app for um, Android. And Profumo, yes, exactly. See, Profumo is a million times better. I use the app on my iPhone. It has legit reviews. They cut out all the negative bullshit in there. They have, each, each one has like three or four reviews and that's it. And the coolest thing about the app and about their site is they have these things called Fragrance Radars. Facebook Reviewers Cafe, Sebastian's Parfumo. Parfumo is the best by far. Exactly. See, a lot of people will agree. Once you start getting away from Fragrantica and start using Parfumo, they have those fragrance radars. If you guys ever seen those, those are really cool. And what the fragrance radars are is uh, like it'll have like summer, sp summer, spring, winter, fall, and it will do like a pie chart or like a, a, a graph. Then it'll be like, then I'll have another one like young, old, men, women, and then spring, fall, summer, notes, has these cool fragrance radars, has all the basic information that Fragrantica has, it has the notes pyramid, it has, it has, it's a great, great, great tool. I go Parfumo, Base Notes, even Base Notes is starting to get its, its trolls though, man. Even Base Notes, I, I see a lot of stuff. Um, I don't use their, uh forums that much um I, I i i find the forums like and even layering suggestions such as set, yes i know and they have like your most like parfumo has like your most worn um suggestions of what you should wear like they do parfumo has done a great job and you can even put like your decants like label like if you say you have a fragrance but you don't have a full bottle you can say you have homage beach up man but you have a decant of it like you could put like Stuff like that. Parfumo has been a great... That's that's my number one go-to for research. I have the app. It's really easy to use. Really easy to sign up for. Um, if you do happen to download the app or if you do happen to make a website or a, a, a register with them, you might get some emails. Just take yourself off the email list. What's your signature scent? Ooh, signature scent. Man, that you know, you know what that changes so often. Um, that changes so often because seasonally, situationally, um, a couple that I've been wearing a lot. Everyone knows my date night scent. I'll, I'll give you like situations. Date night scent signature is Marantanka. It always has. It has been since I bought it. Currently, a lot the two fragrances I've been wearing a hell of a lot are bergamot by Gallagher Fragrance, and this guy right here, Mayatri by Provision Sense. This one, think Terre d'Hermes, but instead of a dirty orange, it is the best smelling photorealistic bergamot scent on top. This is, I love this scent. I, I, I got this scent. I actually won this scent from Cephalobon. I won this scent from Cephalobon. And after I got this scent, I ordered the, uh, the Discovery set, which I'll be doing a couple of reviews from the Discovery set soon. But after, uh, I'm going to be ordering more full bottles from this line. I don't know if you guys check out Parfumo at all or... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys check out Cephalobon at all, but the perfumer of this brand, um, I don't know if you can see, the perfumer of this band, I got the light on right now, Mayatri, M-A-I-T-R-I, and this is called, this is Provision Sense. The perfumer of this brand is the same person that writes the articles, uh, notes from a perfumer. 
she writes these a lot. So it's this one and Bergamos by Gallagher Fragrance. Such a clean, nice, versatile scent. Great for when, um, uh, a lot of people know that I do the gym thing and work there, but I also work at, uh, a city, I also have a city job where I have to dress up. And Bergamost is a great scent to wear there. I actually got a compliment that it smelled good. From a hot secretary, so that's good. I'll take that. Hope she's not watching. I don't think she is. What do you do for work now? I work at the gym, and I, I work for the comptroller's office of Philadelphia, the guy that puts the budget in towards the city. Boring. Oh, wait, I shouldn't be saying that. It's a good job. Um, shit. Um, it's, it's, it's a great job for the city. Um, do a, a lot of fundraising events, a lot of work for the city. Um, I'm actually currently, yeah, you caught that, didn't you? <laughs> um, I, uh, I do a lot of fundraising. I, I, I do a lot of work for the fundraising events. I set up a lot of stuff for veteran services. Um, I am a vet myself, so that's always good for me. Public services. Yeah. It's, it was, it was a job that I was able to get because the fact that I, uh, model for CK. <laughs> I would have to be about, if for, for me to be a model for Calvin Klein, I'd have to be about 50 pounds. I, I think the CK models are a little bit smaller than me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, uh, Actually, I want to show you something. I want to show you the shirt that I was going to wear tonight, but I decided to go against it. But I was going to wear this shirt tonight. I don't know if you can see what that says, but I was going to wear that shirt tonight. I didn't, but, <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the shirt I was going to wear tonight. But, um, if you can't see, it said veteran is, um, hell, but <laughs> That was the shirt I was going to wear tonight, but I decided to go against it. Oh, hey, Amy, what's going on? Yeah, so um, it's, you know, do like those public service jobs, you can't wear something that's too challenging. Right, James? Thank you. Thank you, James, for your service as well, man. There's, uh, there's public service jobs. You can't wear um, something challenging or over the top or um, thank you, Amy, and thank you, James. And James is a service member as well. So I can't wear stuff that I would like to as much. Um, another one that I've been wearing to the gym a lot, actually, as, as much as people will hate me for saying this, and I don't blame you, I've been wearing that, uh, that, that Julia has a gun fragrance, the, uh, uh, Moscow Mule. I, I posted it on my, I, I, I wear it. It, it. it smells good at the gym. <laughs> it smells good. I'm just a lot older. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty up there. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, it's something that, um, Ambroxan does good on my skin at the, at the gym. So it has Ambroxan. It has the ISO E super. So it, it, it smells, the Moscow Mule smells decent on me at the gym. And as my body heats up, it's, I was in from 88 to, 80. okay, yeah, all right, maybe. <laughs> Dude, you look a lot younger than that, James, in your profile picture. But, um, yeah, it, it's not a heavy projecting fragrance, but it smells good. Um, I was talking about this one earlier, this one. Um, Pep, you wound up buying Murantanka. This was a this was a fragrance that I bought with Murantanka. This is a uh, Velvet Rose and Oud. I really like this scent. I liked it when I got it, but uh, after a few wearings, I figured I, I it, it, it's sort of a little bit feminine leaning on me, and that's because of the amped up praline in this. Um. I love the scent. I just don't like the the rose in this is really nice. The rose in this, yes, fuck age. <laughs> it sounds like a whole lot, dude. Pep, this is really good. It's just for me, it, it leans a little feminine. Um, a couple from the Clone Intense lines that I do like, uh, the Udenbergamont, um, Murantanka. 
There's a couple other ones that I've tried that I, that I don't have, but um, those ones. Uh, and Pep, I'm not sure if you've ever tried. Um, are you feel familiar, or uh, Joy, or anybody? Is anybody familiar with uh, Oud Safir from Atelier Cologne? That's one that I, 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 I've had a bottle of, and I ran out, and I'm, re I'm thinking about picking it back up because it was really, really good. It's a highly versatile, highly versatile oud. It's really good. What's going on, sci frags? <laughs> similar to Noir de Noir, which with this one? No, no, no. This is not similar to Noir de Noir. This is uh, way more feminine leaning. See, it uh, Pep, it is one you should definitely try. Um, it takes oud, and this is going to sound weird. It takes oud, and it makes it designery. And it's an ex considering that it's an expensive fragrance, it's it, you got to you gotta weigh this option out. But it's really fucking good. It's really good. Oud Saphir is a really good, good scent from the Atelier Cologne line. And it's not one of the Atelier Colognes that are going to go away or have minimal sillage. Really good scent. Another one that I plan on doing a review on soon is a, one replica that no one seems to talk about, but it is effing amazing. What was that? I haven't smelled any of the Joe Malone's yet, but Sax Fifth. First, I plan to smell it. Awesome, awesome. Let me know how you. Let me know which ones you smelled. We should do a superhero film with awesome dudes like Chris, Pep, Ashton, James. I agree. I agree. Um, I guess I'd be like the Captain America character in that. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, another one from the replica line that no one seems to talk about. It comes, no one seems to talk about the Replica black bottles. Replica has this line that's a little bit more expensive, but they're called the Replica Fantasies line. Yes, that would be awesome, Dr. Strange. That'd be so cool. If you do the, if you do the go to, dude, that'd be awesome. Replica has this Fantasies line, and the one fragrance that I love from them, it is such a sexy, amazing date night scent and i'll be doing a review on it soon it's freaking across sands across sands no one talks about sexy oud and dried dates scent it's funny it's dried dates because it's an awesome date night scent and it is fucking fantastic freaking fantastic if anybody can get a decant a sample of that i suggest trying it because it is awesome I smell the ones. Who is gonna play Iron Man? Ashing at me like Superman, Chris for Superman. Superman. Uh, dates. You save him. I'm saving Black Phantom. And oh yes, Black Phantom. I did a review on that. When I I still don't know how to edit. I'm not a great editor, but I did a review on that when I was shitty at editing. You want to hear the funniest story? Is that when I first started, right? Ashton could be Spider Man. That would be awesome. Because he's got the quips and all that stuff. When I first started reviewing, I had a microphone for the longest time, but I was reviewing on my phone. And I would plug my microphone into my phone, not knowing that you had to have a, a dongle in between to actually utilize the microphone. So I had a, I was wearing a microphone. If you look at my earlier vids, I left them up. I really don't give a shit about my earlier vids if they're crap or not. Like they're still enjoyable to me. But I was wearing a mic, but you still can't hear me because it's using the freaking phone mic, and I look like a freaking idiot. But it's you know this whole thing's been a learning process. It's been a learning process. So yeah, when I was using my phone, I was using a mic that was basically not being used because I was I didn't have that dongle in between. So, you know, that's one thing. If you plan on starting a reviewing channel and you're going to use your phone, get a mic, get the dongle, and use the mic and dongle, and you'll get way better sound quality. I enjoy these live feeds. So do I. I enjoy talking. If someone, please say it. Play, say what? <laughs> Am I missing something? Yo, Philly is getting so humid. 
it. <laughs> but, um, oh man, that just went by way too quick. Bro, which part of Asia is your other half from? Notice you're mentioning it. Bob, Salt. I'm actually half Korean and half Greek. So my dad's Greek and he was stationed over in Korea when he was in the army and that's where he met my mother. But um, I don't know any of my Korean family. I don't know any of my Korean family because um, when my mother married my father, her Korean family disowned her. So, um, the, I, I've never met any of my Korean family. My mom still is over here. She hasn't spent. Oh, really? Awesome, James. I, I still haven't gone. I've wanted to take my mother back, but she really doesn't want to go back. Um, she, it would make her sad because, um, she, she, her family, like I said, her family disowned her for marrying my dad and they're still together. Um, so I guess that's sort of like my reasons why I have such high standards when it comes to a relationship is because like my parents are still together. My mom is like the strongest person I know. She left her whole entire life just to be with my father. This new channel I joined a long time. Thank you. It's a wonderful place. I'm really sorry to hear that. You know what? She's yeah, I know it. It happens with Asia a lot. Um, she's not sorry that it happened. I was way up by the DMZ. So was my dad. Um, she's she's not sorry that it happened. She uh, she made her own family. She made her own life. Um, and she's happy. She has her kids, her life. You know, she has my dad's side of the family that loves her. So um, I'm not sure where my father was, though. But um, she, you know, I'm not sure where my father was stationed. But my father and mother are still married happily. Um going on almost going on almost 50 years no 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 not 50 45 i'm sorry 45 hey chris have a good one man thank you for stopping by man if you guys haven't checked out chris's channel undercover fragrance he has a good channel he's got great following great content that's awesome. That's the, yeah, I know, man. That, like, like you know what? That's not to say like they have not to say that they haven't had things happen, but they stuck together. They stuck together, man. And you know, you don't see that too often these days. So it's sort of a uh, sort of set like my standards really high for when it comes to a relationship and stuff like that. And I don't want to be with somebody that I'm not going to be with for the rest of my life. So I just sort of date around and stuff, but I don't look, I, I don't look for a relationship right now because I, I want to do my own thing. You know what I mean? I, I, I like doing my own thing. I have things that I want to accomplish. And if it's not totally aligned with somebody else, I don't want to ruin somebody else's life by trying to do my thing and, or have my thing messed up. Uh, very, very little. I do chores like really wonderful family yeah you know what i i can never complain about my family my family is amazing my parents work their asses off asses off throughout there they still do my, my parents work their asses off just so i can have a semi normal decent life and i i i can never complain about any of my issues that i've had in the past because of my family it has nothing to do with them it was all me discovering myself you know what i mean i did stupid shit in the past but who does it when they were a kid right um but it was never never them sure, main single yes you know what um you know what you find out a lot more these days people are staying single for good reason for good reason yes exactly exactly My, you know what i wouldn't change anything you know what like i said i've done stupid things i've had a bad i've had shitty things happen in the past whatever it doesn't define it's not the bad things that happen or the bad things i've done that define who i am but how i choose to overcome those obstacles and how i choose to go about my path that make me who i am if that makes sense to you that's something that i've always stuck by 
Yeah, I'm not, and that's the thing. I, who's to say that I ever will get married? I'm not really too invested in that. Thanks for, oh, no problem, man. Like I said, I have no problem. Like, I like talking to you guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah, I like talking to you guys. I have no problem being honest and truthful and saying. Yes, Mila Kunis, I definitely will. Right? Sorry, I got a question. There's time, of course. To influence you the most. Picking taste. Sorry, what what fragrance of your influence you the most? Taste, pick up, blind buys. Um, I try, uh, the, the thing is when it comes to blind buying, I try not to let, I, I watch a lot of reviewers. I watch a lot of reviewers and I like a lot of their taste. But I try not to blind buy based on somebody else's taste as much as I let you know. And I, I don't suggest blind buying at all. I never told anybody to go buy a fragrance, period. I, I don't. I, I say whether or not to try it or not, you know what I mean? But um, a lot of reviewers have influenced me. Um, and I have no problem admitting this. I have no problem admitting this. I have no problem telling the truth. My first, I, I've always sort of collected, I've always had a collection of fragrance. The first video, or the first fragrance reviewer I came across was Jeremy Fragrance. I watched a couple of his videos. I watched, obviously, his Lana Weed Alone video. Who hasn't? And he had that passion. And I was like, man, that's awesome. And then I found other people. And I started watching other people. And other people. And then I learned about the community. And then the community opened up a lot. And you know what, man? Dude, they were. Dude, his passion in those videos were crazy. Someone actually, one of the coolest, coolest compliments I got was someone commented on the Muratanka video that I did. And they said that it was better than Jeremy's. Lana Weed Alone video. And I was like, what? No way. <laughs> Me too, I'm blind by it. Yes, you shouldn't. You know what? And don't have a problem admitting that. People seem to have a problem admitting that, oh, Jeremy was the first video that they watched. So what? So what? If it was, so what? That doesn't say, that doesn't make you who you are. You know what I mean? I... It was the first video I watched, but there's so many other reviewers that I watch out there right now. It's <laughs> real reactions from people when they find out. Yes, a lot of my friends think I'm freaking nuts. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of my friends think I'm crazy. And I am. I am. There's, there's, there is, to be 100% transparent, there is no reason... For a person, other than collecting and being passionate about fragrance, for a regular person that's not a collector or not a reviewer to have over five to ten fragrances. I, I mean, I, I, I think Jeremy was the first I watched, but I don't remember fragrances. The girls, <laughs> yes. Joy, E, Joy. Dude, and then like, yeah, like, once I started like watching like, like once I found Jeremy, then it started going like into the like the real, like I started finding the real ones that like I handpick and the ones that I watch. Um, it's, you know what I mean. It was it was a process, but I have no problem ever admitting uh, people were think crazy, especially when they ask what I'm wearing. You know, you know what? And that's you know what everyone has their hobby, everyone has their likes. People spend. $400, $500 on shoes. Have you seen those Yeezys? They're ugly as shit. Who the hell would spend money on that? But people do. And they like them. I have, and, and shit, I'm, who's, who am I to say that you shouldn't wear those? Like, I won't. Reviewers talk posh and these fragrances. You know what? I, I love, I love, I love the thrill of finding cheapies. Niche fragrances are great, and you know I love my niche fragrances. But I love the thrill of finding a great cheapie better. What's going on, Freddie? <laughs> I love the thrill of finding a great cheapie better than finding an expensive niche. There's something that comes along with finding something that's cheap 
and Carlos knows this, there's something that comes along with finding a cheap, inexpensive fragrance that is just really, really good. Like, shit, you got, you guys know, you see me, you, like, I do, I love putting, first, yes, humor ass, when did you decide to do, the, which became, like, a trade of your reviews, thank you, um, that's just part of my life, that's just part of who I am, um, like, that, 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 that style has always been, and to tell you the truth, and I told Joy this earlier today, that that sinister Siage character that you see in my videos, that sinister Siage person, that's me 10 years ago. I was that guy. I'm getting into a lot of classics lately. You know what? That's something I still need to dive more into and something I still need to trust more. Because of it, yes, Josh's Oda Duel video was awesome. Thank you. Thank you, James. Yeah, you know what? And you know what? I love I, 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 I love doing that character. I love... I have... I don't know. You saw that one video. I have a story that's going to be building up with that soon. Obviously, it's a story. Someone got um, terrified by that video. Problem is finding a lot of classics to smell. You know what? There's one that I, I have right now, and it's the one that I mentioned earlier. That I said I got from a friend. It has such. It has a lot of castorium. It has tobacco. It has musk. It has a lot of these animalic notes. And it has this old school feel to it. It has whiskey. It has this old school feel to it. But it's very. It's also with a modern twist. Dark ass video you did. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that video, <laughs> that video, James. Um, influenced by a fragrance, that's awesome, Chris. Name a female fragrance that you wear with confidence. Female fragrance that I wear with confidence. Um, freaking uh, Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Um, let me see. There's a couple. There's actually a couple samples that I have that I will touch on more. This one, even this one, like I said, at times this can be masculine. Well, a lot of times with my skin chemistry, my skin chemistry changes a little bit from time to time. Velvet Rose and I can pull off. Um, I, I, I wear a lot of unisex fragrance, um, but uh, Vel, uh, what's there? Tom Ford's Black Orchid has been a consistent one that that's that's almost niche quality to me. How do you keep your hair like that? And it was drawn in. Like it was drawn in. That's the se that's the second time that hair has been brought up. It, it's not, it's it's I I, I use a, a blow dryer and a pomade. I got a sample of black orchid scent. I love it. Cool. Can wear it. Tom Ford is a master. He is. Have, has anybody tried the new, yes, a little bit of pomade as well. Has anybody tried the new Tom Ford Extreme? Tom Ford Man Extreme? Personal collection mostly. Friends, take care. Take care, Carlos. Favorite hair product? Uh, my hair blow dryer. <laughs> the hair blow dryer. That's what gives it this height. Um... Yeah, evidently, I, I didn't know this. There's a new Tom Ford Man Extreme that's out. But, um, that's... I, I, I haven't looked that much into it. Have a good one, Pep. But yeah, the Tom Ford Man Extreme looks like the old black Tom Ford bottles. Um... I had hair. Big bolt tip. Hey man, tattoos are cool too. You guys see that? And that show all in my room. Family for me. So, um, what's what's what are your guys' favorite cheapies? Tom Ford Noir Extreme. That was good. One of the most gorgeous, delicious scents I smelled. Hey, take care, Davis. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by, man. What are your guys' favorite cheapies that you own? I know Carlos has some good ones. 
Hi Gina. <laughs> More time for. You know what? Bright Neroli. I just smelled that recently. I just smelled Velvet Orchid recently. Jackpot. I haven't tried that. Favorite Chibi Aspen. Hey, hello. I Perfumo, and I like that. ADG Perfumo is actually, I, I, I really enjoy that scent too. If you want to talk the ADG line, Joy is the one to talk to about that. He, he's a master at the ADG line. Um, I have, I've never tried the special blend. I tried the new one, um, Absolute, and um, I, I, as far as the, the line is concerned, I, I like Perfumo. Actually, the one I haven't tried is Ascensia. Probably my favorite cheapies. Like, you guys know I love the English laundry line. I love the English laundry line. I know Anthony does as well. Aspen is old school and good. Yes. Yes, there's a motorcycle in the back. Um, I live, like, in Center City, Philadelphia. So there's a lot of bars, like, right around my area. Voyage, Perry Ellis, M. Juice Couture Dirty Dirty Are you talking Juicy Couture Dirty English Oh Juicy Couture Dirty English Is that the one you're talking about? Hey, I think it was a Davidson. It sounded like it. You wanna know what's cool is I have a balcony on the other side of my apartment and or my loft and there's a bar. There's an outside beach bar that's right there. You know what, Freddie? I, I just so recently I reordered Dirty English. And it came a little different. No, but I, I want to. I want to I wanna get a uh, Yamaha Virago, old school one. How from for the Rocky statue? About three miles. Lucky. Bora Bora. Velvet Orchid is good. And that's what I, yeah, I was just talking about that. Velvet Orchid. So it's funny that that thing is purple. Definitely Ragba for me. I haven't smelled that one yet. I'm loving the velvet orchid has like this purpleness to it it's so funny I'm not saying I'm so I'm not saying that it reminds me what I'm gonna say sounds weird right now but something about it reminds me of Dimatap and not the fact that it smells like Dimatap <laughs> and, and I mean this in a beautiful way it smells it's really good Costco had English laundry coffee set. 20 mils each. Yeah, dude. Oh, you're talking about these ones right here. Right? <laughs> I'm telling you, I love the English laundry line. I, I have the big ones. I have the small ones. I have every single one. I have every single one from the English laundry line. Yeah, it's it's a great set. Uh, okay, I'll definitely, I'll definitely hit you up. Coco Moss. Gotta go pick up the kids. See you later, Amy. Thank you for stopping by. You know what? Like, um, English Laundry. Awesome bag for the bucks. Yes. Patch or Gino's? Neither. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's cool because, uh, the English Laundry line, like, they're expensive online, but TJ Maxx's and stuff like that. Oh! Really quick, by the way, guys and girls that are interested in this, I just posted it in a couple of the groups, but right now, at, if you have Century 21 stores around you, they have the Prada, uh, Prada Loam line. They have Prada Loam and a three-piece set with a travel sprayer and the body wash for $59. Great deal. Amazing deal. I was thinking about buying a couple of them to sell it, but I'm not big into selling. I don't like that. Next time I'm in the city. Yeah, dude, Century 21 department stores is awesome. Tina, where did Tina, where did you move to? I knew you were gonna say that. I knew you were gonna say that, Anthony. And I have Windsor. <laughs> you know what, man? I see Windsor a lot. If I ever do see Windsor. I'm going to go check Marshalls tomorrow because I, I was actually just Marshalls and I'll pick it up for you if I see it. Because I know you've been looking for that one for a while. Oh yeah, of course. Top three cents in my collection. 
Fragrance wise, I would have to say Marantanka, La Air de Desert Moroccan. I mean, I don't want to only pick, like, it, it's going to be three niche, but I don't mean it to be three niche. I'll, I'll, and I'll do a three designer ones too. But Roja 51 is my other one. I, I love, I love the way Roja 51 smells. Top three designers would be, I know you're going to hate this, Joy. It's, it's, it's Lanoui de Lome Lintense. <laughs> um, there's actually a, a, there's a new one that I have that I haven't done a review on yet. I can't show it to you because it's coming out Sunday, but it is really, really good. Um, Versace Borom is, it's just such a, it's such a good, good, solid release. And actually, it, uh, uh, it's a Zara fragrance. I had a Desert Moroccan the other day. Not sure if it's wearable for me. I definitely, I definitely understand that. I definitely understand that. It's definitely more of an artistic fragrance, and it's definitely hard to wear if you do, you're not in the right climate. You don't have the right chemistry. I wish. Um. Okay. Le, Le Air de Desert Moroccan smells like what it is it's so the air of the moroccan was meant to smell like the moroccan desert it's a bunch of spices it's versace pro Homme was my senior for the past two years versace pro Homme is an amazing underrated scent like a lot of people bash it when you go to get in the fragrance community but i wore that for the longest time see you later brother deuces see you later freddy um and the air of the moroccan is just it's it's Art, Dior Dune is like the desert. No, <laughs> no. Actually, it, it's, it's, I've never been to Morocco. I've never been to a Moroccan spice market, but that fragrance manages to take me there. I don't, it's, it's one of those ones that could transport you. It's one of, there's very few fragrances. And this is just my standard. Everyone else has others, and I totally understand that. And I totally re respect and appreciate that. But it's one of the very, very few fragrances that I've called a masterpiece. Um, that's that's a term I try not to use much. Um, but it's it's that I, I I when I smelled that I was like holy, and you know what? Thank God because I blind bought it. And I was hoping that I didn't get like blind by buys, but I still love that scent to this day. Um, there's other ones that have like sentimental value, like like the autographed uh, Galavant fragrance I got, the autographed uh, Roja Dove that I have, or like you can't. You know what? Favorite designer house. Mmm, that's hard. Dior Chanel. Um, man, that's a hard question. You know what? I, I could do a good cop out, but I don't want to. Yes, I have. I have tried Istanbul. Bro, how is Amongst Waves? Amongst Waves, I have the sample and I just killed it. And I, I, I talked to, uh, the people over at Gallagher and I am ordering it this coming month. They're, 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 they're in the middle of a move right now. So they have a couple things going on, but amongst waves is I, I'm, I'm, I'm ordering that. So, um, Istanbul love, love as well. Um, I had it when I had a chance to talk to, uh, um, uh, Oh my God, I'm getting thinking of this. Though. Sorry, when I had a chance to talk to Nick from Gallivant, he actually had he brought this whole collection of little samples of his fragrance oils that he used, and he let me smell the layers of what built every. Fr it was incredible. The guy is so knowledgeable, so so knowledgeable. We killing you with all these questions? No, I love it. Um, yeah, Nick, Nick from Gallivant was Nick Stewart is incredible incredible
and he, he, he like he had me smell the layers of what built Istanbul, the specific notes, the difference between a damask rose and the difference between four different kinds of vanillas. He taught me so much in the couple hours that I hung out with him that I thought I ever could know. I smelled real ambergris, real ambergris for the first time. I smelled, do a review. Did it tell a story about London? Yeah, I definitely do plan on doing that again eventually. Um, I like that. It, you know what? The Galavan fragrances don't go for that much. Uh, I, it, the full bottle purchases are like 96 bucks, I think. 96 US dollars. They're 30 mils, but they're worth it, man. They're worth it. And um, actually, I have I have two of London. I have two of London because I like it that much. Yeah, for for niche quality joy, for niche indie, incredible quality. They're they're just really good. They have discovery kits too, Joy. They have discovery kits. Um, they have one that has six of their their new fragrances, um, Amsterdam, and uh, the discovery kits too. Have have a lot. Have they have a six, one and four. But um, yeah, man. He the Nick was just so, so knowledgeable. What time is it where you are? I don't even know. I don't. Know, I don't even know how long this has been going on for. Eleven twenty-two. Wow, I didn't even know this is going on for an hour. Um, I don't care. I'll keep talking. I usually try to keep them a little bit shorter, but we're having fun talking, so we'll keep going. I really don't care. I got nothing to do. But um, someone said favorite favorite designer house. Yes, Pep is gone. You know what, Spice Bomb Fresh, I I did like, and then when I, in between a move, it broke in my suitcase and got all over everything. And now I can't stand the scent. I loved it. I, I, I really did. I, I not loved it. I really liked Spice Bomb Fresh. I really did. Then it got all over half of my clothes and my suitcase and like drenched my clothes. And I can't wear it anymore. <laughs> it's Chanel. Um, man. It could be, uh, there's Chanel, it could be Versace, uh, could be Terry Mugler, like, it's, it could be freaking YSL. Any house you stay away from? No, not really. I don't, I, um, even new fragrance, if, if, if there's a fragrance that don't work for me, and they have, like, a history of not working for me, I'll, I'll still give a new release a chance. I know I want to try Alien Man. It depends on day and mood. Yes, it does. I want to try the new Alien Man. I want to. Um, honestly, people were talking crap about the Amen flankers. I like the Amen flankers. Yes, I have tried Nasamato. They just got a new. They just had a new release. Nor Nora Flora or something like that. Nor Nora Flora. I think they just got a new release out. And I'm going to go to my friend's shop and try them out and try the new release out. Um, the, the, the shop, uh, Perfumology over here, uh, near guy actually wind up becoming a, a good friend. So I like going and checking out his stuff. The Amen line is awesome. The Amen line is great. The Pure line is awesome. And you know what? I, they can keep on going with flaggers. I don't care. Five mils at 20 bucks. That's great. You know what? If I I I, I love Pure Havan. I loved Pure Havan when I got it. It was my top Mugler scent. But then, but then I got this bad boy. Insurrection Pure Two Wild. Insurrection Pure Two Wild smells exactly. Like pure Havan, if 
for fifteen dollars. For fifteen dollars, LA Road for Women is so good. Everyone said that it was. Version sucks. Yeah, and malt are all malt is my favorite. Malt is my absolute favorite. Insurrection Pure Two Wild, so cheap and smells. Hey, what's going on? Smells exactly like Pure Havan for fifteen dollars. For fifteen dollars, that's that's sort of why, like you know, you, you hear me go, I, "Thank you very much, you as well." That's why, like, you hear me say, "I'm pure malt," because there's not something. I mean, and tell me if I'm wrong. There hasn't been something like I've smelled that smells like pure malt. What kind of longevity you got from from this? I get I don't get it as long as the longevity, but it's weird. So I won't get as long as longevity as I would with Pure Haban, but the performance is still the same as Pure Haban. So where with Pure Haban I may get around seven to eight hours. Oh, I'm sorry, with Pure Haban as I may get like eight to nine. This I may get to six to seven, but I still get the same hours of performance. Dude, this the, the presentation on these are really cool too. It looks like a book, and like it actually like lays in there. It has like a nice cushioning around it, and you pull it out of the book, and it's for the price. This 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 can't be beat. I, I keep on saying exactly. There are subtle subtle nuances, subtle nuances, but as far as smelling really close, you can't beat how much for this price for this quality. The smell, this is, yeah, it is. It's a cool little ombre bottle. And it, for the price, Pure 2 Aventus Glow, which is good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, exactly. No one will smell the difference in the air. Even up close. Even up close. You would have to cast me on, like, the perfect day for me to tell, like, the full difference of these two in the air. I haven't tried Insurrection Dark yet. I haven't tried Insurrection Dark yet. And I had Insurrection Pure 2 regular, but there is another Aventus clone that I have that I like better than that, and it's not one that you guys would think of. Joy Abbey. I, I've heard that about Dark. I, I, I've heard that about Dark. That's, that's one why I haven't tried it. Um... I just saw, I know someone asked Joy about his storage of his fragrances, and Joy, uh, Joy, I would love to hear that as well, but I actually just bought a new cabinet I'm going to be putting mine into because my, my desk isn't, my the, the top of my dresser isn't working out anymore, so <laughs> I had to get a new uh, cool paddle dresser that I got to put together. Um, holy crap. Okay. But yeah, as, as far as this one goes, and, and Joy, um, I'm not sure what you think about, um, I'm not sure what you, AC 23 hours a day, no sun is allowed. Good, good. Yeah, I keep AC on mine too when it gets hot. Joy, what do you think of Crypto Mint? You know what? Unless you live, here's here's the thing. Wine cooler is a cool in theory. The wine cooler thing is cool in theory, but how many fragrances are you gonna be able to keep in that wine cooler? And are you gonna be willing to decide which ones you do and which ones you don't? Are you gonna be willing to rotate and then what? Take them out and then leave. The wine cooler thing is cool in theory. I I, I thought it was awesome. And if I had a smaller collection. I would definitely consider a wine cooler. But they're going to last long in a temperature controlled environment like a room. As long as you keep them out of the direct sunlight, your fragrances are going to last. You know, as long as you don't keep them in direct sunlight, it's not that they're, they're long heat. I'm going to bring a new Panasonic AC, which is a beast. You got you got an AC. Wait. Is it just for your bottles or is it for the room that your bottles are in, Joy? <laughs> like, like I got a brand new AC too, but it's for the room that I'm in. <laughs> but um, storage-wise, I just keep mine out of the direct sunlight. 
Really? That is that is awesome. That is you know what? And that's you know what? I would I would prefer that. Personally, if I were to do anything, I would do that over a wine cooler because a wine cooler only has so much space. It's 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 a good idea. It's really cool. Italian zest was nice. I did try it. The top, I had to get over the top, but after it dried down, got ultra zest. Blind buy a lot. I wish I got crypto mint. Yeah, you were saying that. Wine cooler won't hold. Exactly, wine cooler can't hold that much. Intense yet. Intense is actually decent. The intense, not, it, it's exactly what it says. It's just like the other one. It's just, it just amps up the other, the other uh, D&Gs. Um, yeah, so I just got a cabinet. I got some cool LED lighting for it that I'm going to put in it. Um, but I'm just going to keep it in my room. My room stays temperature controlled. You know, it doesn't get too hot in here. It doesn't get too cold in here. It stays nice and decent room temperature. And yeah, like I, my fragrances have last. I, ha I haven't had a fragrance go bad ever. Noir Absolute is sick. Get it? Prices go down. Yes. Noir Absolute is sick. <laughs> Noir Absolute is sick. I, 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 I just saw that recently on my own, and I love that. You know what? You know what is funny? Actually, my neighbor was getting rid of this awesome desk and cabinet. And they were just tossing it on the street and it's brand new. And the only reason they're getting rid of it, this is how people are in Philly. The only reason they were getting rid of it is because it didn't fit in their apartment. It didn't fit like through the apartment doors and it's brand new. And they just put it out on the trash. I was like, what are you doing with that? They said, oh, we're just getting rid of it. It doesn't fit through the apartment doors. I said, so you're just throwing it out? I said, yeah, do you want it? I said, yeah. They were like, all right, take it. That's how people are in Philly. If it doesn't fit in their apartment, they're just going to throw it away. No way. I'll take that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. What did you say, Josh? Been trying Elysium today. Not really digging it. Hey, man. That, I, I, I really enjoy that one. But if you're not digging it, that's, that's awesome. Me so far. Not worth the money. Here's the thing, though. A lot of people say not worth the money. A lot of people say not worth the money. But they're willing to pay the money for like people say, all right, blah blah blah. I'm not. I'm not saying this about you, Josh. But people say, um, oh, I'm not gonna pay that amount of money for a fragrance. And this is saying that they like it. They say they like it, but I'm not willing to pay that much money for a fragrance. But they own a four ounce bottle of Aventus. Roja does Elysium. That. 3.4 ounce bottle is a cheaper bottle than a four ounce bottle of Aventus. So for people to say that they won't buy it, they're just thinking the Roja name and then they're like, oh, I'm not going to pay that much money. It's a cheaper bottle. It's a cheaper buy. I'm not saying that about you. I'm saying about other people that have said that. Dude, I enjoy. There's some crazy cheesesteak place that are here and it's fantastic. Yes, I'm in Philly. That's awesome. That's awesome, James. Yeah, you know what? That's, you know what? Because people, and here's the thing, like, you know, I have no problem with, you know, you know I have no problem with niche, you know, I have no problem with designer, you know, I have no problem with cheapy, and you know, I have no problem with luxury too, if I'm going to buy a luxury set. The, the thing is with Roger Dove is people want to not like it because it's an expense i'm not and once again this isn't me talking about you josh it's just other people is that it they they want to say that they don't want to get it because it's an expensive fragrance but once again if you think about the price compared to creed fragrances elysium is a cheaper buy than the creed fragrances so i don't see people are out and going buying that now, if you're going to say, all right, you don't want to buy Elysium because it'll be your gateway to Roja, and then you'll, you know, you can't buy any other, like other Rojas, yeah, they're freaking expensive as hell. But, you know, I'm sure you'll find, I'm sure, like, it depends on which group you posted in. I'm sure there's groups that would. Um, 
I, I, I think at this point, the people that want to get Elysium have probably have had it, but they have the full bottle. There's going to be people out there that don't want, people don't want to buy decants because they think, you know, they, they want, I don't know why. I think decants are a great option. I think decants are a cool idea. Uh, people who spend more money trying to find a good clone than in the original. Exactly. Exactly. BDC perfume purchase. You know what? You know what's funny? As I sampled, and I have a sample, and I sampled Blue Day Chanel perfume, and I have no idea why people are talking shit on it. It's decent. It's good. It's good. You know what? Everyone's going to talk shit. Everyone looks to find to talk shit either way. If it was... If it was BDC Parfum and it smelled totally different, you'd have people say, oh, it smells totally different. It's not a real Parfum. Or if they did what they did, just how they did it, people are going to say, oh, it's blah, blah. Is, that's the question, Joy. Is it worth $150? US dollars? To me, if I didn't have the other ones... I would consider that. Have a good night, Aunt. If if it wasn't see you later, Josh. If it wasn't if I didn't have the other ones, I would consider it. Is it more versatile? No. But if there wasn't the other ones involved, I would I would consider buying it. It smells great. It smells good. So many people are, are shitting on it because it's the cool thing to do. People want to find something wrong. And like I said, if they if they would have done if they would have done Blue de Chanel Parfum and, you know, totally messed with the notes and made it something different. People are saying, oh, it's not unique. Oh, it's not this. Oh, it's not that. Yeah, it's the Parfum version of the freaking EDP. It's not supposed to be unique. It, smell, it smells like the EDP, just a little bit denser, a little bit darker. And it's, it's nice. It's good. It's good. It's exactly... Joy, put it this way. Exactly... What the ED exactly the same difference from the EDT from the EDP is the same difference from the EDP to the parfum. It's it's just going down the line, but people are gonna say, "Oh, it doesn't smell like it doesn't you know it's not original. It's not too, it's so the fuck what it's 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 the parfum version. It's the parfum version." But if they would have done something totally different, you'd hear people saying, oh, it's not different. It's not a real parfum. So it didn't change that much. It didn't. It's, 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 it is, it, like I said, it's a little bit more darker, a little bit denser. Uh, I can't speak to performance yet. People just like complaining. Exactly. Exactly. If, if, it, if it's not one thing, it's going to be another. Exactly. People are always going to complain. It's a good scent. It's a good scent. Is it $150? Good. I don't know. I don't know. If I didn't have my parfum version and I didn't have, like, you know, maybe. But I, I, I still think that it's a, de I still think it's a good scent. Am I going to buy it just to review it? Probably not. Probably not. I, I, I have the EDP and I'm fine with it. But, you know, it's just people... I, I, and I'll, I'll have to try, I'll have to do the actual, you know, testing for performance. But once again, most parfums, most real parfums, if they're, if they're a deep, you're not going to get crazy sillage from it. Most parfums lay closer to the skin because of the fragrant oils. The alcohol is a carrier that helps disperse. As far as longevity, I don't know. But you're not going to get crazy performance from EDP or a, a, from a parfum extract or an oil. You're not, it's just, it's, it's, the oils are, don't have a carrier to disperse them as much. But I mean, people are just going to find a reason to complain. Me, I think it's a good smell and scent. That's it. That's it. You know, it, but it's a shame that it just got a lot of bad press over it just because people wanted to you know, talk bad about something. It's good. It's decent. But, anyways, it, I think I've been talking to you guys' ears long enough. <laughs> it's been about an hour and a half. I think this is the longest live stream I've done. 
And you know what? I love it. I like I like talking to you guys. Doesn't last too much longer than the EDP on my skin. About an hour extra. Yeah, you know, and that's that's to be expected. Man, take some rest. We drain you. Hey, Joy, you need to get some rest, man. What time do you ever sleep? <laughs> Thanks for chatting. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here, man. I, I love just, you know, I love interacting with you guys. That that's 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 fun. You know, videos are cool, but I love interacting with you guys, man. Thank you for your time, Jays, man. You, I, I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, man. You guys make all this stuff fun, and I love doing it. Everyone, yes, Amy, good night, everyone. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Love you guys. We'll catch up again soon. We'll definitely do another live feed soon. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. And as always, and most importantly, go frag yourselves.